How y'all doing? After promoting my DVD at LSU in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I went to a bar to wind down and gather my thoughts. Unfortunately, I had to sit right next to a loud old white conservative. We need to catch Ben Laden. Ronald Reagan would have caught him by now. I'm like, oh man, let me move to a table. I've been promoting for five hours. Just want to chill. Don't want to hear about politics right now. Ten minutes later, he walks up and says, Son, did I bother you at the bar? Are you okay? I'm like, yes, yeah, sir. I'm sure you're a good old boy. But back up, you're spitting. Plus, he was ugly, old, and wrinkled. <laughs> a day later, I thought about it, and that's how I came up with the idea for this vlog. You know, the old boy is right. James Clapper, director of the National Intelligence, says Al-Qaeda and his offshoots are still a major threat to America. Remember, young black America, Bin Laden is like Jim Jones of the Jonestown Massacre. He's a coward that wanted his followers to give up their life, but he wasn't ready to give up his. And instead of America being divided, we need to unite and destroy Al-Qaeda, or Al-Qaeda, whatever they call. But Bin Laden's come along only so often. Domestic terrorists like wrinkle Face Ronald Reagan, Howdy Doody looking Bush, Old Fat Ugly Gingrich, and Flat Butt Sarah Palin are more of a threat because we have to deal with those sneaky terrorists on a daily basis. Remember, young black America, wrinkle Face Reagan is the reason crack cocaine ravaged our urban neighborhoods. Do your research into Congresswoman Maxine Waters, the Democrat from California, and her investigation into Reagan's Iran-Contra affair. Reagan's own son said he probably had Alzheimer's when he was president. That explains why he kept falling asleep at meetings. That's why I don't understand why Fox and CNN keep bragging about this senile fool. His wife Nancy Reagan even went against the Republicans on the stem cell research issue. CNN and Fox News bragging about wrinkle face Reagan is a disrespectful slap in your face, young black America, because he destroyed black neighborhoods in the 80s, and that's not just a conspiracy theory. Ugly, wrinkle-faced former U.S. Secretary of State Donald Rumsfeld just wrote a book admitting he was wrong about weapons of mass destruction being in Iraq. What pisses me off is that after trillions of dollars that could have gone to move America forward, but were wasted, and deaths of thousands of our soldiers and Iraqis, these wrinkle-faced Republicans are still trying to cash in on their failures. There will be a special place in hell for them. And I can't understand why Obama would go on Bill O'Reilly's Fox News show and let that beady-eyed fool interrogate him. Bill O'Reilly overtalks you, thinks he knows everything, and it's just hard getting a word in edgewise being interrogated by him. He's just jealous because he ain't president. And I don't care how many viewers Bill O'Reilly and Fox News has, if Bill O'Reilly ran for president, he would lose, guaranteed. Newt Gingrich, this ignorant old white boy with the funny name, who used to be House Speaker and a possible 2012 Republican presidential candidate, spoke in front of the CPAC and said Obama was no Ronald Reagan and Obama is the reason why America is declining. Remember, young black America, Gingrich left his wife for a younger woman who worked for him. He's not in the position to criticize anyone. Of course Obama's not Ronald Reagan. Obama ain't no old wrinkle-faced white boy who sold weapons to terrorists in Iran secretly. Remember, young black America, we will never defeat the Taliban as long as we have 60, 70, and 80-year-old general, war generals. These youngsters who play war video games could guide our soldiers through warfare better than these old fogies. Gingrich presidential campaign is not going to do nothing but further divide this nation. With 60 and 70 and 80 year old white boys in power, I will always be ashamed to be an American. Because a lot of people around the world are looking at us as arrogant warmongers, even some of our allies. Remember, young black America, stop letting these 60, 70, and 80 year old Republicans send you to fight their bogus wars. My vlogs, Presidium's message to young black America, will educate young black America on how they can empower themselves in the 21st century and teach young black males how they can increase their power over law enforcement legally and peacefully. 
Hopefully I can help reduce the black male prison population because our young brothers need to be at home taking care of their families, not in prison. Watching so many episodes of 48 Hours on A&E, it breaks my heart to see so many young black men destroy their lives. I'm already starting to receive hate mail, and I love it. People call me a racist, but I have a lot of beautiful young white people who do support me and several young white men and women who are helping me with my calls. I have Nancy, a young white lady who does, the types, who does my typesetting for my vlogs, and Tom Parham, a young white man who's doing my DVD duplication and giving me a major discount to make sure I get the word out to young black America. They are both tired of old wrinkle-faced presidents. Some people say to me, you might be old one day yourself. Why are you saying these things about the older generation? If I live to be 60, 70, or 80 years old, instead of trying to rule the younger generation, I want to be on a beach with a beautiful black woman chilling. Let the younger generation take over, because they have new innovative ideas on how to run the country, instead of the outdated philosophies of the 60 and 70 and 80 year old Republicans. Thank you.